Warning, the activities depicted in this video involve trained professionals executing live fire drills and utilizing firearms and chemical irritants, including Berna Kinetic and Max OCCS rounds in a strictly controlled environment. These actions are potentially life-threatening and should not be replicated under any circumstances. Attempting to recreate any of the scenes or actions shown in this video can result in serious injury or death. The content presented is for educational purposes only and reflects the subjective opinions and insights of the participants. It is not intended as a definitive guide or factual reference. Viewers are advised to exercise caution and not to use the information in this video as the sole basis for making critical decisions regarding self-defense or firearms usage. View discretion is strongly advised. The creators, participants, and distributors of this video disclaim any liability for any injury, harm, or legal implications resulting from the misuse of the information provided or attempts to mimic the activity shown. My name is Brian Wang. The school here is in the Bay Area, California. It's called Monarch Defense. I've been 10 years in this profession. We train mostly private citizens, but once in a while we'll get some cops and some soldiers in here. I spent a lot of time in Ukraine training soldiers and snipers over in Ukraine. Today we're gonna run a test. I'm gonna hit you with kinetic rounds with a full strength CO2 cartridge, and then we're gonna do OC and CS rounds, the max rounds from Burnham. This is gonna fucking suck. For this test, we're going to be using the Berna LE, their most powerful model of CO2 powered launchers. We will shoot Brian with solid kinetic rounds designed to induce pain from impact, as well as chemical max rounds that are designed to disperse a cloud of tear gas and pepper spray in powder form when they hit. The question then is, is that gonna incapacitate someone from using a firearm accurately? And in this case, also identifying a target. So we've laid out a course for you guys. We have red targets and green targets, and we also have targets which are neither red nor green, and they're non-threats, non-shoot targets. What we're gonna do is we're gonna run this three times. Bang, 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 bang. So number one, just run this unconstrained. We're gonna see how fast and how smooth and how accurate that is. That'll be our control, our baseline. The second time through, as I run through this course, then Ryan will shoot me with the kinetic projectiles. It's on. It's on, game's on. And I'm gonna continue and run through the course uh, and try to do my best. The third time through, as I run and approach him, he's gonna shoot me with the OCCS projectiles. So I'm gonna see how well I can, number one, shoot and aim and move safely, but also, more importantly, target identified between red and green and non-shoot targets. So let's see how I do. He thinks that I can plug him with the Burna Max rounds and that he'll still be able to identify and engage targets effectively with a firearm. I don't think there's a chance in hell. All right, game on. How bad could it be? Oh, what am I shooting today? Glock 26. Versus the Berna LE. I think it's a toy. We'll find out. Is rolling. Weapon hot. Red. Ow, fuck. Ow, that hurts. Ow, that fucking hurts. God damn it. Ow. Look at that. Oh, shit. And right here, but you still effectively engage. No, that hurts. That hurts big time. <gasps> it even broke skin. Dude, it's freaking purple. One side of my brain is like pain, pain, pain. Warning bells, warning bells. And the rest of me is just like, keep going, keep going, keep going. But it does not stop me. So you hear me, I'm just like cussing the whole time. Those were all good shots, man. One, two, three, four. Great shots. Thank you. Would it discourage if you were just like looking for an easy target? Like yeah. you're, coming, you're coming just to see. Yeah, if I wasn't very determined, I would think twice. Against a firearm with a determined person, not gonna work. No, if, if someone's determined, that's not gonna stop them. Just the pain of getting shot, no matter what it is, that much pain activation in the nerves is a lot, but it's only so much. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And when we're stressed, our body naturally says, to hell with pain, we must continue. So understand that yes, it hurts, and no, it doesn't stop me. When you watch this in slow motion, you can see that all the shots hit center mass. The wounds on Brian's arms were caused by rounds deflecting off his arms after he reflexively covered up when the first rounds hit. And now we'll test the Burnamax chemical projectiles. I'm just gonna wait, let you impact right here. Okay. Please don't hit me in the teeth. I'll try not. Red. Jeez, <laughs> oh, God damn it. Ugh. If you find this content useful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. God damn it.
for this one, I was worried that he wasn't going to get a good shot on me. So I actually stood right here, waited for him to impact the wall. Mm -hmm. And you see this angle, it's perfect. So we're at a distance of about eight meters away. And it burst on the wall, I get a full face full of this dust cloud. The first round after the one on the wall hit Brian's right peck. It did not burst and release the chemicals, but it did cause Brian to turn towards the pain and cover up with his arms. The second round bounced off his arm or shirt, also without breaking. The third round hit his chest, but just kind of dumped the powder rather than form much of a cloud. Here's another angle that shows it more clearly. The fourth round bounced off Brian, but didn't fully break until it hit the ground. Okay, so here's some of the rounds. You'll notice that they, they bounced pretty far off of you. This one, like, just bounced and then dumped its shit on the ground. Okay, we should, we should specify that you shot me from, like, one or two meters. And I think it bounced me somewhere off here. Like, I hit some loose clothing and didn't, it didn't bust open. So we have this one that fully deployed, or whatever you want to call it. This one broke and then just I think that's actually dumped. half of this. I think these are the same. I think these are the same one. Okay. Just yeah, pieces possible. of the same one. And then this one didn't even break. It just embedded in the mud. Actually, let's do a laboratory test. <laughs> Here's what we're gonna do. I'm not getting anywhere. No, oh, gosh. <gasps> Holy shit. Why would you do that? For science. Please tell me you're filming this. I am. He just shoved it up his nose. I know. Why are you doing that? He's taking a bump of OC. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how long did it take for it to take effect? <clears throat> Two seconds. <laughs> okay, it's burning right here where yes, I rubbed it in. Yes. My right eye is watering. Yes. My eyes are still open. My nose is still breathing. You're still. All right, talking. I'm still functional. It burns. It stings right here on my skin. I stuck it in my nose, guys. Yeah, you shoved it up your nose. So now my eyes starting to water. My right eye, my left eye still works. When I came around that corner earlier, my right eye was like this, swelled shut. So I actually used my left eye to aim. It sucks. It's uncomfortable, but I'm functioning, guys. I mean, but you literally I just took a concentrated wad of that shit and shoved it up your nose and rubbed it on your face. Right, right under my eye. Just rub it in right here. Yeah, and now you're telling us, yeah, that kind of sucked. It's, it's miserable. It's kind of uncomfortable. It's spicy. So I guess the point is, it works, but how much of work does it have? It's not going to deter someone it's who's not determined. It's someone who's determined. Bye-bye. It takes three to five seconds for it to start working. Now, as you can see, I'm already fully eyes open, even though during the event where I didn't get, when I got to here, I was pretty eyes shut from my right eye for a little while. He hit me a couple more times. There was something here, but after the first time, those really hurt. This second time, I didn't feel the pain. I felt it hit me, but it didn't, I didn't think about hurting. I, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I just wiped my eye. <gasps> now my eye is starting oh. to get all... Oh, no. I, ju I just did that, like just now. I must have powder on my hands. Yes. Finish the debrief. It's fine, finish the debrief. Okay, so then I went over. Um, by the time I got to the wall, I was thinking to myself, why is nothing happening? And then I started shooting and then I was just like, okay, now it's happening. I started to cough and choke. You can see my definitely had a drop in accuracy. I definitely got a little careless, a little sloppy, a little frustrated, but I hit the target and I moved on. You're only like maybe three minutes post exposure. You're affected, but you're not impacted. The, to, effect, to be is not, the effect is not as severe as uh, they market it to be. Is there an effect? Yes. If I were to really rub it in my eyes, would it be effective? Yes. The powder is just not as effective as a full-on liquid. You just had very little eye pro on, no mask, and you weren't yep. holding your breath. No, I definitely was you breathing. Because you were hard. running. Yeah. And you just finished the first round through. And I'm a bur <coughs> anyone who knows me knows that I'm a burner. Okay, so I, I, I've got the powder in my shirt. Yeah. Oh, you just... <laughs> Stop I making just, excuses. I'm, I, I'm I, debriefing here. I just went to wipe my nose and took an inhale of my shirt right here. This is where you hit me. I felt it here somewhere. Five right here. kinetic rounds with a more or less fresh cylinder, then a completely new cylinder, Take four or five max rounds. So and you're dust. standing talking to me like no problem. But you do have a pretty good welt on your own. Hell yeah. Oh, there's, oh, oh, there's two. This Kinetic, one, this is max. So last time you got me five out of six. Moving target, not bad at all. Okay. A little bit of snot coming out. Yeah. So uh, point is, is it wouldn't if you had wanted to get me, you would have got me. There's no yeah. question about nope. it. I'm a strong Berna advocate, but that's because we've never been able to test it. Now, I would say that in my opinion, Bernas do have a application that might be effective. However, I am much less likely to rely on them for a very serious threat than I might have been before. It's effective, but you have to understand how it works. Number one, it takes time to operate. Number two, the mechanical weapon still takes training. You have to aim, you have to hit, which is one of the benefits of pepper spray because you don't need to aim pepper spray that much. The, um, the devil's advocate <coughs> argument that Berna is gonna make is that, well, this lets you not have to get that close in the first place. Right, so the application for this would be because it's a much, much, much lower threshold of force, it's not a gun, but it looks like a gun, you can pull it out and deter someone who thinks it's a gun. Step one. <coughs> Step two, 
You can shoot someone from far away and they'd be like, I don't want to deal with this. But there's a double-edged sword because as soon as you start plop, 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 they realize it's not a real gun and they might re-engage now knowing that it's not a real gun. Or if you pull it and they think it's a gun when you pull it, now you're fighting you, you, a gun with a plastic toy. Oh, yeah, if someone pulls their own gun. Right. Yeah, right. So we, wanna, we don't want to do that. It just has to yeah, if that guy yeah. has their own gun, that's bad. Um, as we saw, it's not effective against someone with a real gun who is determined to use it and who knows how to use it. A lot of bad guys may not be determined and they may not know how to use their weapon. So those are two big caveats. Did it affect my performance? Yes, it did. But you still performed. Not as well. Not as well, but you performed. But I, I did perform. I right. continued on enough, good enough, I would say, what would you guys say? Drop down to a 70% performance? Yeah, fair enough. I missed a couple of shots and I got kind of frustrated and flustered and started wasting bullets. The most effects i felt were actually not from the one that hit me i didn't really feel anything from that uh was when i went through this kind of lingering cloud this actually is i think the best use case pretty good shot huh it's a great shot I like it. it's a great shot <laughs> look at the powder on the wall it goes to about here right mm -hmm. the, the whiteness on the wall but it starts here and goes to about there so this is kind of the cone of dispersal if you hit a hard object remember he hit this from eight meters away it's six degrees fahrenheit so he's going to have relatively low pressure for his co2 on a hot day, you would get better performance and it would go farther faster. Having said that, this is probably the way to go is to actually disperse it as a, as a cloud by bouncing it off of nearby objects. So, so use cases where this would be like maybe an aggressive dog. Definitely against dogs and, and anything that okay. has a nose. A teenager who just wants to be a dick. If dicks just driving away assholes, yeah, I think so. Maybe drunk, homeless, annoying person who's becoming a little too aggressive. Yeah, potential so threat. Van vandals, uh, aggressive trespassers type of thing, I think. And with a little bit of training, you know, it's a seven round mag, you can reload fairly quickly and you can shoot like three or four mags at a higher temperature anyways, before you're, you're done. So if you're somewhat good at this, <laughs> you know, you might be able to discourage a few people for in, in a non-motivated, um, let's say, non-motivated criminal. I think that's really good because it shares the training with handgun. Yes. Right, so someone who's trained on handgun can seamlessly transition from burna, and if it's not working, just drop and go to handgun. It's the same process. But this one, you can use uh, essentially what we call suppressive fires. You can pop, 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 pop in the general direction, let it bounce off of stuff, and create a cloud of irritant that makes people want to rethink their choices. Just the same way you could use bullets, but in a non-lethal manner. The other issue is if you want them to leave and then you make them so their eyes are watering and they can't breathe, they can't really leave very effectively. Right. So this would be a good case scenario if you can leave. Yes, yes, that's a, that, that's a really important one. As an exit strategy, to dump a couple rounds behind you as you exit, that may be itself a very good use. The question then really is, <clears throat> is that pain going to deter this person? Or is that pain going to turn on his Hulk reflex? And he's like, Aah! and it just gets more mad. That's pretty good Hulk reflex. All right, do we want that? Um, yeah. But all in all, that was a nice If you liked this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. I'm holding my breath.